good friend once told me that she felt that we were all born into this world in black and white and that we, as we travel through our lives, it's the special people that we meet along the way that add the colour to our lives. So thank you to everyone here tonight, as you all have had such a great influence and part in Chris and Cheryl's lives, and thus you've all added the colour. Since you came into my life, everything just seemed to fall into place. It's as though the universe knew exactly when we were meant to finally meet. I thank my guardian angels for sending me you. It truly amazed me when we first started dating just how many people would comment on how similar we are and how made to be we are for each other. Today is filled with that same magic as today I get to marry the best person I've ever and will ever meet. You have answered my dreams and in doing so, gave me new ones to strive for. Today my dreams are coming true as it marks the rest of my life I get to spend walking hand in hand with my best friend. Love you big time, today and always. Love Cheryl. Cheryl, our day is finally here. It seemed to take forever waiting to find you, but our stars aligned. <laughs> and it has been worth every bit of the wait. I am so thankful for you. It is seemingly rare that people truly find the counterpart in another person, but you and I are two of the fortunate few who have. Incredibly, it only took one cup of coffee to realize the significance of our chance encounter with the best wing mom around. And know that from that December day forward, our two paths were merging into one. Just know that although I'm proud of many things I've done, nothing will compare to the feeling of pride I have will have tonight when you are introduced to the world as my wife. Anyone who knows the two of them knows how well suited they are. They only have to be in the presence a few minutes to realize they are best of friends and soulmates. Chris, today, Don and I, along with Jared, Andrea, Tegan, and Poppy, welcome you with open arms into our family and are so excited to gain another son. Chris, one more thing. Never criticize your wife's decisions. Remember, you are one of them. I'll never forget the first time that I laid eyes on you. It, it brought an immediate smile to my face. For Cheryl's Bachelorette, I was asked to do a little video answering some questions, and one of them was, uh, when, did, when did you know that Cheryl was the one? And a couple months ago, I didn't want to look like a complete lunatic, okay? <laughs> so I lied, and I said that it was sometime in March of like the following year, but uh, Shay, standing before you today in front of all of our family and friends, I can, I can honestly say that it was his love at first sight. I, Chris, take you, Cheryl, to be my wife. Loving what I already know of you and excited to spend a lifetime uncovering what's left to be discovered. I love you through skating season, even when it's not the Olympics, and 
providing you with a shoulder to cry on when Scott and Tessa inevitably stop performing. I, Cheryl, take you, Chris, to be my husband. Loving what I already know of you and excited to spend a lifetime uncovering all that's left to be discovered. I will love you through the Leafs playoff season, even when they are losing, and provide you a shoulder to cry on when they inevitably start their golf season. I promise to make the choice to love you unconditionally every day and to show you through my actions how much you are loved for the rest of my life. I promise to always try and make your heart smile, whether that be through 90s music, kitchen dance parties, or writing you little love notes in the morning. I promise to make the choice to love you unconditionally every single day, and to show you through my actions how much you are loved for the rest of my life. I promise when we are old and gray, we will look back on our incredible lives together and have no regrets. I will adore you, honor you, and encourage you. You are my best friend, and I will always love you. I'll be kind if you will be faithful, you be sweet, and I'll be grateful. Cover me with kisses, dear, lighten up the atmosphere. Chris came up to me about a month after he and Cheryl started dating. And at first, he just simply hugged me for about a minute without speaking. At the end, he was teary, and he said, Thank you, Mom. I knew then that Cheryl was to become a forever member of our family. I can see so clearly exactly what happened to Chris. All the fun and wonderful qualities that Chris came to learn and appreciate growing up were right in front of him when he met Cheryl for the first time. We could see how Chris felt about Cheryl we welcomed her in our home. From our first date until now, I want to thank you for showing me unconditional love every day. You've always made our love story the easiest one to live, write, and talk about. How rare is it that a human being with roots so deeply planted in honor and good character could exist? And how lucky am I to find a person of that virtue in this lifetime and call him my husband. Chris, I love you with my whole heart. church on time take my hand in this empty room you're my girl and i'm your groom come to me my sweetest friend this is where we start again
last three plus years, it's been incredible how much my love for you has grown. You are the most thoughtful, caring, and considerate person that I know. You're beautiful inside and out, and we all know how well you wore that dress today. I know that from this moment on, nothing makes me prouder than the fact that today and every day forward, I get to call you my wife. And when I say I love you, I don't say it out of habit or to make conversation. I say it to remind you that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I promise to constantly find new ways to remind you that for the rest of our lives. So here's to my wife. May we spend the rest of our lives with me getting songs stuck in your head.